back to Just Your Average Baker. I'm Amelia and today we're going to be making whipped cream. For today's recipe, we're going to be using whipping cream and powdered sugar, pretty simple. You're also going to need some type of a, an electric stand mixer or um, electric beaters or something that you can use to whip up the whipping cream so that you won't have to do it by hand. If you try to do it by hand, your arms are going to be like noodles at the end. Quantities of the ingredients you're going to need today. You're going to need one pint of whipping cream, which is um, two cups, and you're going to need a fourth of a cup of powdered sugar. Woo. We've got our whipping attachment attached to the KitchenAid and we're going to start by pouring in the whipping cream. So we pour our two cups of whipping cream into the stand mixer. Make sure we get it all out there. And then we're just going to start whipping it for about um, a minute or two and then check it and we want to see it kind of becoming whipped cream but not quite fully whipped cream when we add our um, powdered sugar. So it's been about two minutes and we're going to check it now to see where it's at. It's still pretty soupy so we're going to put it on for about another 30 seconds to a minute. So it's been about 30 seconds and I could see that the um, mixer was starting to leave traces in the um, in the whipping cream itself and you can see on here it's not dripping off of the stand mixer so we're gonna go ahead and add our fourth of a cup of powdered sugar now and then we're gonna let it mix again we'll gradually turn it back up so it doesn't poof everywhere um, we're gonna gradually mix it again until it forms pretty stiff peaks and the sugar is all incorporated we want it to look nice and light and fluffy. That'll be about probably 30 more seconds again. You definitely want to um, not over whip your whipping cream so it's okay to keep checking it. So it's been about 30 more seconds. We're going to check our whipped cream again. Now you can see the consistency has changed. It's nice and thick and it stays on the spoon. It's got, it's still soft. It's not over whipped, but it's nice and thick and it holds its peaks. So I am going to call that done. Whipped cream is one of those things that's just like really satisfying to make. Not only because like fresh whipped cream is delicious, but also because it's so, where's the freaking, oh, because it's so much fun to watch it whip up. And then also it's like, plurp, 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 plurp. So there we have it, our fresh whipping cream. Pretty easy to follow recipe. Even I really didn't mess it up, which is saying something. Um, and now all that's left to do is taste it. So, now for the taste test. Um, also, I don't have anything to put this with. I didn't make anything to go with it. Uh, I really should have, or like picked up something to eat with it. But really, now I just have a container of whipped cream. So, we'll give it a taste. Oh my gosh, this is bad. It's not bad. This is good, which is bad, because like I said, I have nothing to put it with. So I just am gonna eat a whole container of whipped cream. Mm. I did a good job on this one. 
High five myself. Okay, I really gotta stop. This has been Amelia for Just Your Average Baker. If you like this video, please subscribe so that you can see more, and I'll see you guys next time. Happy baking! Bye!